Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, right, you are watching BBC Breakfast. The time is exactly 8.59. Hello, live from London, this is BBC News. More than 100 people are killed in China's deadliest earthquake in 13 years. Rescue efforts are being hampered by sub-zero temperatures. A volcano erupts in Iceland after weeks of intense seismic activity. This is the scene there live as jets of molten lava spew from the ground. And broadcaster Dame Esther Ranson joins the Swiss clinic Dignitas and is considering assisted dying if her lung cancer doesn't respond to treatment. And schools in England are to receive government guidance telling them that they should generally tell parents if their child wants to change gender. Hello, I'm Lucy Gray. We start with the developing story in China. At least 118 people have died after an earthquake struck the northwest of the country. The epicenter of the quake was in the remote Gansu province. Tremors were also felt in the neighboring Qinghai region. A second magnitude 5.2 quake struck neighboring Xinjiang hours later on Tuesday. More than 250 people have been injured. Rescuers are braving freezing weather with temperatures below minus 13 Celsius to search for survivors. The government has dispatched teams of rescue workers to assist local emergency crews. We spoke earlier to Matthew Blackett, Associate Professor of Natural Hazards uh, of Co at Coventry University, on why this shallow earthquake had such an impact on this remote region. So it was a 6.2 uh, magnitude, which in the, in the whole scheme of things isn't particularly large, but 